The focus of using PowerPoint is not on the program itself, but the actual impact of PowerPoint comes in delivery the presentation. When you want to share the presentation with others, PowerPoint equipped with several features which let you, for example, recall a slideshow with narr narrations with timing so that you can save and send that show to others and have them watch it as you deliver it. In addition, you can use Backstage View to create a video of your show to upload to the web or send to others. For your audience, you can print handouts or pre put supplemental information in your notes to distribute it as a booklet after a presentation or as follow-up. When you make your presentation, you can use a dual monitor to set up what that lets you see what's coming next and refer to your notes. With the PowerPoint web applications, you can collaborate with your colleagues on a presentation and even deliver it online to those with a web browser. So now, let's watch the video. After you have finished your presentation, you are ready to present it to others. You can view your presentation by following the following steps. First, click on the slideshow. Click on the From Beginning on the slideshow tab. The first slide will be displayed full screen. You can see that your presentation will look like on a full screen when you present it to others. Skip to the following slide by clicking the mouse once. You will see the next slide. After the last slide, you will see a blank black screen. This means the slideshow has ended. In the bottom right of the window, you will also find the slideshow icon. By click the icon, the presentation will start it on the slide that you currently in. After you have finished your presentation, you are ready to send it to others. You can send your presentation through the email by following the following steps. First, click on the office button on the upper left corner. This will open the backstage view. Click on send. There are four options that you can select it. You can send the PowerPoint file directly through the email. Or you can send it in PDF or XPS file format. Or it can be sent through Internet Fax too. Click on Email option. After you have setting up your email service on Outlook, the Outlook's email window appear to allow you to send your presentation. Create a PDF file for your presentation. If you want to deliver your presentation to someone who does not have a PowerPoint installed, you can use Save As function on the backstage view to create your presentation in a PDF file format. You can then send the file to e by email or post it online 
to show to others. To generate a PDF file for your presentation, you will have to follow the following steps. Click to open Backstage View. Select Save As. Click PDF or XPS. In the Publish as PDF or XPS window, you can set it as standard or minimum size in order to publish on the internet. Click Publish. After the PDF is created, when the PDF file is created, PowerPoint will open it on PDF Reader program, for example, Acrobat. And it is available for you to save and send it. Prepare for your notes and printout. When you print your slide in backstage view, you can also include notes that you wrote in your notes panel in normal view. You can use these notes yourself to prepare your presentation or you can add supplemental information to print for your audience as a handout. PowerPoint has a note master feature for you to format the look of your notes. To print your notes and printout of the presentation, you will have to follow the following steps. First, in your slide, enter information in the notes panel. Notes Master View let you format your notes page before printing. To open Notes Master View, click the ribbons View tape and then click Notes Page View. In Backstage View, click Print. Select Notes Pages from the drop-down menu. Check the Print Preview on the right to ensure the overall look of your print jobs match your expectation. Now you can click Print. If you want to print your handout, also click Print. Select Handout from the drop-down menu. Check the Print Preview, preview on the right to ensure the overall look of your print jobs match your expectation. Now you can click on print.